We both received your instructions in your dressing room. Okay, look. If it goes right here, it's okay. Anything below that's low. Right here is okay. Anything below that's low. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourself at all times. Let's go. They call this a dream fight. The Filipino crowd chanting for Pacquiao as he moved toward the center of the ring. Bell. Which styles will emerge in the early rounds? Is De Oya here to box or to fight? Is Pacquiao here to try to create an immediate storm or to tactically bide his time and hope to pressure De Oya in the late rounds? Good straight left hand up the middle for Manny Pacquiao. The height differential did not show up so graphically at the weigh-in yesterday where De Loia was barefoot and Pacquiao had tennis shoes on. Today, they do look four inches apart in height. You can see the height difference here. The Oscar seems to be very intent and very angry. I was just see the expression and looking in his eyes. I've known, known him. But he's fighting a very intelligent fight. He takes a straight left hand and a right hook from Pacquiao and seems intent on retaliating. But already Pacquiao shows you that he wants to move in, move out quickly. Move in, land a flurry, move back out, out of Deloia's range. And the quickness of Pacquiao is a factor in round one. Those two punches have reddened Oscar's face already. They seem to have been the only clear punches that have landed thus far. And it's interesting that Manny is using his footwork. He's using his bit moving around better than Oscar. And Oscar is not firing his jab. Perhaps because of the early bobbing head movement of Manny Pacquiao. Illoya knows he wants to keep his jab going throughout the fight. He hasn't really gotten it going so far. This, this has the makings of being a very interesting fight, and I think as it goes on sooner or later, you're going to get some very good exchanges. But right now, Manny is fighting a very, very smart fight. Well, if there are two graphic impressions from round one, they're simple. Deloia is so much taller. Pacquiao so much faster. And now Deloia nails Pacquiao momentarily against the ropes and catches him with a left hook to the body. Oscar needs to do just what he's doing now and use it more, the left jab. But he can't find Pacquiao at the moment. Pacquiao's yeah. movement... Uh, but confusing it, but, him at the moment. But it, but right, it would get him busy watching the jail. But right now, Manny is hitting him with his punches off. That, that momentarily shocked Oscar. I think the speed has been bothersome for Oscar it throughout is. the round. Who simply can't believe how easily Pacquiao snakes his left hand right through the middle of Deloia's guard. Deloia lands a left hook. But Pacquiao gets away. He punched, but nothing landed too much for the most part. Right here, you see what surprised me and has been prevalent the most effective punch. The little left-hand lead of Manny's is he shoot right between the glass. ...of his career. There was a moment when he was, even though dangerous and destructive, largely a one-note two. Jab, jab, straight left hand. His ability to fashion the first hand, or the lead left hand, starting his offense with it, as he's doing there, shows how much he's progressed as a tactician. The one thing that you mean is very obvious. Oscar De La Hoya has very little head movement. But Manny Pacquiao is using his upper body movement with his hands, his feet, his gloves. But Oscar is too stationary at this stage here. Manny is a much more elusive target. You know, Oscar used to dominate smaller guys when he was a young fighter. He was always put in with guys a weight, or, a weight division too less than him. He isn't doing it yet. And he hasn't really adjusted to the straight left hand lead of Manny Pacquiao. He seems to be expecting Pacquiao to start with the right jab, and Pacquiao continues to confound him by coming straight up the middle with the left-hand lead. He has reddened Deloia's nose from top to bottom with that punch. You heard Freddie Roach telling Manny Pacquiao between rounds. Manny's upper body movement in defense is very, very effective, let's just say. Oscar cannot time his head movement the way he's moving and bobbing and weaving and dancing in and out. Indeed, Deloy is reduced to mostly trying to go at the body because he hasn't been able to find Pacquiao's head. But he has no head movement at all. His head is stationary. Good body shot. Doubled over Oscar, it seemed. And as you said, he is 
He is bending his head so that there is only almost no height yes, difference yes, between right. them. Been that Pacquiao lands a brilliant uppercut and up the middle. Yeah. And if round one was mostly Manny Pacquiao, round two is even more so. Deloy has not been able to solve Pacquiao's speed, movement, the southpaw style. If you look, if you get into fine details, not only the air hit movement is not, is not that with Oscar, he's fighting coming in most of the time leading on his heels, whereas Manny is operating on the ball of his feet. And somehow, so far, he is neutralizing Oscar's left hand, one of the best weapons in the sport for over a decade. The speed and variety of Manny Pacquiao for Oscar De La Hoya, who has landed only six of 56 attempted jabs, according to CompuBox. De La Hoya hasn't really gotten his offense going, and he hasn't solved Pacquiao's game yet. Even though uh, Manny is slightly winning, I think as the fight goes on, I see him becoming even better. I don't, I can't really visualize Oscar doing much better than this. He looks a little slower, doesn't look as strong, body looks a little weak. And as I said, his, his upper body movement is not going off. You're telling me we're going to see a shutout, Emmanuel? I think Manny's going to get stronger as the fight goes on. Even though he's winning now. Oscar has no, no defense for those punches. He's just stationary. Why did so many ringside experts think that the fight wasn't even a credible because idea? Because the first hour we thought he was going to be a bigger guy, and as it turned out, he's just a taller guy. The difference is I thought he would have came in about 160 pounds, as most people. For him, they almost picked up any weight, then he's just taller, but no, nowhere near where we say strong, or as big as he should be. Boxing annoys and irritates Oscar, he says and he is very annoyed and irritated at the moment. He is not getting it off at all. He hasn't thrown a punch in 20 or 30 seconds, and that was a reach-in right hand. But sooner or later, he's going to land something. You have to believe that. He just landed a good left hook to the body there, and Pacquiao, following Freddie Roach's instructions, moved off the ropes as soon as he felt his back against him. There is a big swelling outside the left eye of Oscar De La Hoya, the product of Manny Pacquiao's right hooks. There's a redness in the middle of Deloia's face, the product of Pacquiao's straight left hand. He might describe the first couple of rounds as shock and awe. Pacquiao's speed taking Deloia to the cleaners. Now Oscar seems just a little more comfortable, though Pacquiao is still more offensive, more the aggressor in the fight, moving in and out effectively. But Oscar, Oscar's, I think, to me, more aggressive, but the punt with the snap and the speed is coming from him. Pacquiao. I don't, I don't see the, the punch, the snap in Oscar's punches as much as Manny is. There's a lot, a lot of difference in the steam. And that's because he's uncertain where Manny's going to be. Good point. Good <laughs> point. He's, you can tell that. Is it? Absolutely. I mean, right now, you're, you know, and Oscar, I know he's into this kangaroo meet or whatever he's doing and things, but uh, to me, he just doesn't look that strong. Well, Oscar De La Hoya has fought since September of 1997 when he fought Hector Camacho Sr. Pacquiao has dominated De La Hoya in the first two rounds with his straight left-hand lead up the middle. Early in his career, Pacquiao always... Harold, how'd he score through three? Okay, Jim. Three to nothing, 30 to 27, Manny Pacquiao. Jim, what he's doing is he's turning the guy. Look, right jab, right jab, left hand, and then he moves to the side. He's got Oscar turning. If Oscar can't set, can't set, he can't get his punches off, and Manny's turning him. Oscar looks like a guy going up, doing a 360. Three to nothing, Manny Pacquiao based on not only clean punching, Ring generalship when he turns the guy. And when Harold was speaking, Oscar landed a good straight right hand, but then Pacquiao came back seconds later with a flurry of left hands. The biggest and most effective punch in the entire fight has been the straight left of Manny Pacquiao between the gloves of Oscar. Let's see if De La Hoya can develop some confidence in his jab over the course of these next few rounds so that he can bring coherency to his own offense. Oscar needs to work his jab. Whether it lands or not, it'll at least get Manny preoccupied. And then he can land a big right hand, but he's not jabbing enough. And well, he, needs to faint. he needs to faint it sometimes and then jab in order to make Manny move and then jab him after he moves. The right hand has never been a super destructive punch for Del Hoya. I asked Freddie Roach yesterday in our meeting, I said, have you ever seen Oscar Del Hoya really hurt somebody with a right hand? And he smiled knowingly and said, nope. And that's a factor in the fight. The straight right hand is often the number one weapon of choice for a conventional fighter against a southpaw. 
for the same reason that Pacquiao is landing his straight left hand. The avenue of the approach is open. It's still Pacquiao's quickness dominating the slower De La Hoya. And if Oscar's not going to, to you know, move his head, at least he'll keep his right hand near the center of his face. And more he keeps it up right near the side, they're leaving a perfect hole for Manny to go right through. And that's what he's doing. And that's what Oscar needs to do is keep working that jab. Manny could not time him so much. And even if he doesn't land his ass, they keep puffing him. But Good he doesn't body. jab enough. Good body shots there by Pacquiao. And if there was doubt coming in as to whether Pacquiao could and you affect Delaware with his punting power, there shouldn't be any doubt anymore. And you watch when Manny lands his left, he then moves off often to his own right. So he stays out of the line of fire. He hits it and moves away as soon as he lands it. This is getting embarrassing. It's an event when Delaware dodges a left hand. The Virtually speed. all of them seem to be landing for Pacquiao. Oscar looks old and he cannot control the situation. The worst thing in the world is to come back and complain, so I can't handle the speed. And that's exactly what David Diaz said, but David Diaz wasn't the fighter of, of Oscar. Danny, uh, bro, knock him off his game, hug him, beat him up, and the body try something new. If Oscar would just work his jab, keep his right hand in the front of his face, and when Manny comes in, take a half a step back and then punch, he would be effective, but I don't think he's going to do that. Delaware looked a lot better in May of 2007 against Floyd Mayweather, who was far and away the preeminent fighter in the world at that time, and since then has retired unbeaten. Low blow by Pacquiao after he strafed Delaware with the right hand upstairs. Here's the feeling of a fighter when he's in there with somebody who's always beating him to the punch. I, 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 this is a terrible feeling. The worst thing it is, I say, to deal, not handle the speed. And he cannot, he doesn't block those right hands at all. He has his right hand permanently stuck to the side of his face, and, and Manny just punches his like a wide open invitation. anything, He has Manny. no defense. He's getting hit with virtually every shot that Pacquiao throws. And Manny is going to get better as the fight goes, as I said. Well, and, and Manny is getting, still going in and out. He's not getting careless and carried away with the fact that he's doing this. No, it's a brilliant fight plan for Pacquiao. Far more of an intelligent and tactical fight plan than I personally had expected. And perhaps more so than Deloia expected as well. And Oscar just can't get off. Pacquiao's speed is a riddle he has not been able to solve. I think you summed it all up in that phrase, Jim. Well, Oscar used to be the speed that killed. Yeah, when a lot of the experts... Good body shot by Oscar. Biggest thunk to the fight for De La Hoya, and he suddenly gets it going with three left hooks. And a lot of experts picked Oscar to win because of being big. They figured right now he would be about 13 pounds bigger than he is. And they also Weight figured wise. he'd be about four rounds ahead. Yes. Get back into this fight. Well, if judges are looking for a round to give to De La Hoya, this might be the one, although now Pacquiao. So it probably would have been a reach for any judge to give the round to De La Hoya. But you heard how enthusiastically Nacho Beristain, his trainer, told him, mucho mejor, mucho mejor, much better when he came back to the corner. A lull of quiet now gripping the crowd as if they are waiting to see what might happen next. The La Hoya fans have found little to get excited about in the first five He's, rounds. De La Hoya has decided now to be a counterpuncher. He's going to try to make Manny lead him and look for an opening. And prevent Pacquiao from countering him as effectively as he has so far. Even a lot of those punches that, that Manny has landed, which is on the cup, if you notice, he's never been worn because Oscar has his cup extremely high. So they're really on the belt line. They're not on the really, really, really low punches. They trade body shots. Pacquiao giving at least as good as he gets. When Nacho Beristain asks between rounds for 45s, he's not asking that De La Hoya look 45 years old, but rather that he throws his combination left hook, left uppercut, a punch that's thrown at an upward angle trajectory. That's why they call it a 45. He hasn't been able to land it much tonight. Straight left hand right up the pike for Pacquiao. 
Pacquiao throws that left hand in two different ways. He throws a short, quick one, almost like a, a jab, and then he throws the power punch right down the middle. That's still been the most devastating single punch in the entire fight. Neither fighter been able to establish any other dominant punch at all, but he just throws that little left cross straight out anytime he wants it. It's almost guaranteed it's going to land about 90% of the time. And as a graphic visual mark of what's happening in the fight, Manny Pacquiao looks largely untouched as we come toward the end of the sixth, and he is gradually reconfiguring De La Hoya's beautiful face. Yeah, the left eye looks scuffed up after fighting Steve Forbes in May. And fighting Manny Pacquiao is something entirely different from fighting Steve. Here we see once again Manny Pacquiao shooting his straight left hand right down the pipe. Direct, and that's the kind of punch that's doing the damage to Oscar Della. What they're seeing, although each round has gone by with repetitious regularity, Harold, how do you have it so far? That gives you six rounds to nothing, 60 to 54, Manny Pacquiao. I mean, Oscar De La Hoya hasn't gotten off to Schneid. He's getting shut out. And Freddie Roach used the key word at the end of round number five when he said, just keep turning him, because that's what he's doing. Just like I said before, beautiful right jab, nice straight left hand by Pacquiao, and then he turns him. He moves to the side, and De La Hoya can't get set to hit him. Six to nothing, Pacquiao. We're starting to get to that point in the fight already where you're thinking Oscar has to at least knock him down, if not knock him out, to change this fight. And Oscar hasn't shown that knockout power in a long time. I disregard to some degree the New Yorker fight because I was not that respectful ever of New Yorker, but he hasn't knocked out many of the top Eli fighters in a long time. Yeah, we're going to Mayorga. Ricardo Mayorga is no elite fighter in my view. No. He's the most willing target in the sport. Yes. Yeah, but but still, you would think against the so-called smaller man, we'd see yeah. something more. Yeah, but I think Jim summed it up. There's too much of everything. He just cannot figure out how to get into the fight, how to hold him off, how to get to him. It's too much of everything tonight. Oscar is, he is maybe he, trying to lay a trap, but Manny is too smart and too fast for him. Yeah. This fight's going to probably end up being stopped. Manny Pacquiao yeah. is annihilating Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah. And in the seventh round, De La Hoya has zero answers for the Pacquiao assault. No, no, he cannot do anything. He can't Pacquiao is him. making De La Hoya look old, slow, ineffectual, as though he is a sparring partner. Some of us wonder have to fights over with. whether have to Manny Pacquiao it. would become the Henry Armstrong of this era. Right now, he's looking like the immortal Armstrong. And Tony, Tony Oscar Wick, is Tony barely Wicks throwing is back. You wonder if Tony fight. Weeks is thinking of stopping the fight. Yes. Who's looking at Oscar? shots. Deloya hasn't been down, but that may be the only thing that's keeping Weeks from stopping it. Oscar's left eye is almost closed. He hasn't thrown a meaningful punch in the middle of this whole round. Pacquiao is closing in on landing 50 power shots in the round. It's the most power punches, and virtually all of his fights have been counted by CompuBox. Right here you see Pacquiao landing punch after punch, and it's not so much just the way he's landing them. The body language and position of De La Hoya's body is that of a man that's Defeated. It's, it's passive. He looks six power shots. David Diaz was closer to being in the fight against Pacquiao than Oscar De La Hoya is at this moment. Right. You know, Harold and I both scored the last round a 10-8 round for Pacquiao. Well, and you heard the commission doctor indicating in De La Hoya's corner that he will not be allowed to continue that kind of sustained taking punishment without the fight being stopped. The old warrior still trying to hang in there against a man in his prime who is the most exciting little fighter in the world. Little. Big he looks little big fighter. Tonight. Pacquiao is fighting tonight in the welterweight division. The champion of this division is the almost supernaturally big welterweight, 
Antonio Margarito. All right, Larry, you envisioned this one. Could you see Pacquiao against Margarito? No, and he himself says he's going back to 140 after this fight. This could be the end of the fight here. Yeah, Oscar has no defense at all. I mean, his, his, his body language is that he just he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do at all. Well, all good things come to an end. Watching this, you wonder if you'll ever see Oscar De La Hoya near the top of the sport again. It could be that the long and glorious run of the Golden Boy is seeing the curtain drawn here tonight. Death by a thousand left hands. And if, in fact, the golden boy is being dethroned, it's happening at the hands of the fighter who may have the best chance of picking up his identity as the economic bell cow of the sport. Because Pacquiao's following is growing, not just in the Pacific Rim, but in the United States and Latin America as well. has a tough decision in front of him. The victorious Manny Pacquiao knelt to pray in the same corner where George Foreman got down on his knees 13 years ago after knocking out Michael Moore. As I searched the inventory of my boxing memory, for an accomplishment as big as what his Pacquiao did tonight. Maybe Foreman's win over Moore is the valid comparison. Something so illogical, so unusual, that you simply couldn't have imagined it would happen. A humiliating end for De La Hoya, who had to sit quietly in the corner and listen to a discussion among his trainer, his cornermen, the ring doctor, and the referee as to whether to stop the fight. It took them fully 30 seconds to debate the decision and ultimately to choose to do what you say, Emmanuel, a, was the right thing. That, that's a very bad and embarrassing position to be in. You're sitting in the corner, and the entire conversation is about.